Hello there, everyone. Welcome to another episode from the Demon Overlord. Today, I am going to be doing a Magic the Gathering Creature Forge unboxing. So I happened to buy a whole box of these bad boys from Amazon, and I paid around like 45 bucks for them off Amazon, and I thought it was worth it for a little over a dollar a mini. So I'm getting me some medium-class minis that way, slash tokens. So if I ever want to use them for Magic the Gathering, I can, or whatever I want to do with them. So I got my first pack right here. So give me one second to cut her open. Okay, so streamline. I got the first package out here ready to cut so that we're not wasting all day. Okay, so from the first package, we got us a very nice treasure chest. As you can see there, we got some lovely pre-painted piece here. A little bit, I can see a little off silvering back there, but not a big deal. And I mean, honestly, a treasure chest on a base isn't bad because now you can tell your group, hey, it's medium class treasure chest. Like, that's a medium sized treasure chest, so just as big as a person. That way you uh, kind of stop your group from wanting to carry it off like, you know, a lot of the murder hobos want to do. They want to steal everything and take everything and kill everything. Okay, so on to our second one here. Got us, let's see. Oh, okay. It is a insect with flying and haste, and it is a 1-1 one -one token. So as you can see here, get it in the light. Just a nice, I love how it has the uh, st newer style of flight base for it. Got a nice big grasshopper there, and I love how they actually have flying and haste written on them, which makes them just perfect for use in magic, so to set them down the, your board or creature zone. Really nice there. Nicely painted. Very nicely painted little uh, grass, giant grasshopper, really. And honestly, I love the detail in these little guys. I mean, it definitely has the WizKid style to it, since it looks very well painted. Okay. Get the next one here open. So we're out to two out of the 24. And I haven't got what I'm looking for yet. What I'm looking for is an Angel, an Eldrazi, or sorry, not Eldrazi, but Sliver, and some other creatures. Like, I'm looking for a good variety of this. Like, I don't want a bunch of dupes and, okay, something different. That's good. <coughs> something that is useful. It is a Demon with Flying, and it is a 5-5 token, as you can see here. A very nice, simple demon. You could use it for a devil in the game or a nice fiend. Like I've said, they all have that little magic symbol there, if you can see it. A little Magic the Gathering. And he is actually number 24 out of 28. It's hard for a read. Sorry about that. I think, actually, let's take a look here. He, the giant bug is 3 out of 28, and the treasure chest is 11. Out of 28. So even if you got new ones for each one of these, you wouldn't get the whole set. But like I said, there are just certain ones I'm hoping for. I don't want like every, I'm honestly not trying to collect the whole set. You know, I just kind of want a dinosaur out of this, maybe an angel. And I definitely want some of the slivers because the sliver ones are the ones that I really enjoy and want. And okay, not a bad thing to have to add to the uh, monster library. We've got us a goblin. It is a 1-1. One, one. You can use him for a goblin chief with his nice, uh, very nice headdress. He's pretty well painted, actually. He's not bad. Not a bad little goblin there. And he is medium class, so he'll work fine on the board. No reason. I know normally they're small, but medium's fine for the work. I gotta get him to start falling out. Just quickly. There we go. So I can have some more to grab. <laughs> okay. Next up here, this is... Oh, my apologies. I forgot to say what number the goblin is. He is number two out of the 28. So, huh. Got number two. We don't have number one, but we got number two. Okay, we got another one I wasn't super unkeen on getting. We have a very nice, and actually, for once, a very straightened sword compared to other times, a uh, soldier. And he is number... Was he six? I think he's number three out of 28. Got the nice soldier here. Nice little uh, soldier mini. Hard to read his because of that white. It's really hard to read it. We got a very nice soldier. Very nicely. Uh, this is probably not like a crap soldier. This is actually a pretty well ornate soldier. So he'd probably at least like a commander or something if you need like that. Or, you know, a nice leader on the D&D &D battlefield. So, I mean, getting a bunch of soldiers wouldn't bother me either. But, I mean, I do want the other ones first. Because, I mean... Who doesn't need a good group of soldiers to act as guards and stuff? 
Okay, so so far we're keeping the uh, no dupes so far going. Looks like we got us something tiny here, or something that should be on a tiny base, but I think they make them small, but all medium, because with kids like that, they don't want to different. And it's actually a not bad painted fairy rogue. I've seen these out before, but this one's actually pretty good. And he is number, this one's number one, and it's a little fairy girl. So I got a nice little fairy. This is a good player class fairy. So if you uh, want to play a fairy in the game, has flying and uh, there we go. And honestly, it doesn't look bad. I love the translucency of her wings. And I like I said, I love these newer flight stands where it's got that swerve instead of just a little stick. Because to me, those little sticks have no support. One time you drop it, the stick usually snaps up, and then you're screwed. Okay, well, unfortunately, we broke the duplicate, the no dupe so far. So that kind of sucks. And we got us a goblin again. And, of course, using him as a chief now would kind of make no sense unless I want two sets of goblins to come together. But, you know, maybe I'll make them, like, elite warriors. Maybe because they have a buck skull, they are elite. Okay, let me open this one here. <coughs> yeah. What a good day. What a good way to spend a wintry day. Okay, here's something that's different. Something that I have not gotten yet from them. Here we go. It is number 12 out of 28. It is a zombie. A 2-2 zombie. And a not bad sculpt for... A simplistic zombie is a little bony, for my opinion, but you know what? They never said what stage zombie this is. This could be like a really late stage zombie that's been around for a few days and starved out. So, so far we've only got one duplicate, and that's a goblin, which is not a bad thing. Getting multiple goblins cannot kill you. Okay, here's one I already have because I did buy some of these before once. I bought one of these once, and I got a dragon before. But not a bad thing to get another. We got another dragon. Now, in my opinion, these are way too light color to be green or red dragons, but they are the rare orange dragon color, which is nice. And they are a nice flying dragon for 5-5, five, five, so if you need a good... Since I have an actual dragon commander deck, these might come in handy since I need always the possibility of having dragon tokens. So, so far, I'm not getting a bad side from anything. I mean, like I said, a dupe goblin, it's not a big deal for mag for D D purposing, which is what I mostly get these for. Pretty good. Let's see. We got something different here. It's a green base, and I only have like a fairy. I think that's not a green, or it's like a black. But let's see what we got here. Oh, awesome. We got us a spider token with reach. Hard to read that. Let's see if I can get that. To, there I go with reach. He's a one, two, but a very nice uh, medium class spider. This one I'm fine with being on a peg because you know what? It This one you can't really get a swivel flight stand there. But very nice uh, medium class spider. Always need big spiders, because those are a nice enemy to throw up against your opponents in the dark. Or in caves. Or kind of anywhere. I mean, you can have spiders in the north, too. Like a frost spider. Oh, we got us another duplicate. That's kind of a shame. We got another dupe. This one's a little bit of a sad thing to me, because like, I don't need a bunch of those like that. But we have another fairy rogue. But I will say mine are at least really well painted, and the nice translucency wings there, as you can see. Very nice. I mean, a shame I got those duplicated. I was hoping if I was going to get dupes, I was going to get something cool with my dupes. Like maybe some soldiers or some dragons. Even some demons would have been nice. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, here's a token I would have loved to get in place of one of my duplicates. Because this is actually something I can use too. We have us an ooze token, and he is number 18 out of 28. And Sorry, my bad. Quick. The dragon is a 26, so almost near the end. But we have number 18 out of uh, 28, and that is an ooze token, which it has stars because, you know, these things always uh, can come with crazy numbers. I love the slight, like, very little translucency in the end. But then, like, when you get in the center, it's really solid, which is good. Nice. Uh, I mean, I think Orcade Jellies in D&D uh, &D are actually a medium. So if I need that, got a nice medium ooze. That's actually a good one. I actually don't see many people pull out the ooze tokens. Often, from the times I've seen people unbox any of these little packages. Uh, let's see here. We got us. Okay, something different. We're getting back into the differency. And I'm still not done yet. I've only opened uh, a little over 10 of these things, so like 12 or 13 of these things, I think, so far. I'm doing a quick count. 5, 10. Okay, 12 of these things. Now 13. We have us a nice golem. 
Nice three three goal. Now, honestly, if you need it, you know what he could stand for. This could be a good war forged. Maybe I give him a little uh, shade or a little toning, like dumb him down a little bit so he's not so shiny. And you could have a nice war forged mini, as those are very uncommon, but they are a good player class for your games. A lot of people don't think of using a war forge because they're like, oh, well, they're too cheap since they don't need to eat or drink. And I go or breathe. And it's like, well, I mean, they're robots. What do you want from? Them? <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. Oh, okay, something different. Still keeping that going. Thank goodness we're keeping that going. Because eventually I'm going to get to the point where the only something different I can get is the stuff I want really badly. Uh, we have us a... Oh, one quick thing. He is number 17 out of 28. We have number 10 out of 20 here, and it is the Spirit, a flying 1-1. One, one. And honestly, I love these Spirits because they're yellow, so they're not like... You could use it as a good elemental, maybe like a lightning elemental, a medium class, or a wind elemental, really, or just a nice spirit, or ghost, or banshee, wraith, you know, something like that. Really cool. I'm not sure if that's a dagger in her hand. It looks like it might be like a curvy dagger. But anyway, really nice mini. Not that I hate the uh, spirit at all, but I'm hoping not to get any more duplicates. I'm hoping everything else is the ones I'm, at least some of the ones I'm looking for. You know, stuff that I can usually use. Which with my magic, with my D D campaigns, it's not uncommonly everything. Okay, we got us a new one: a pirate with menace and two two. So a very well painted little simple pirate, a little swashbuckling sword there, a nice base. Very simple, quick paint job, but you know, on him it works. Could be a good PC if someone wants to play a pirate, or if I need some pirates for a port. And actually, he is number four out of twenty eight. Surprisingly. I figured he'd be a higher number. Okay, on to the next one. We're almost, we're getting closer down to the last. And sorry, I'm cutting them off screen. I'm trying to reduce the amount of crackling you guys got to listen to. As I always, okay, here's what I actually was hoping to get to on the side. That I actually did, forgot was even part of this set. And there's a reason for it, which I will tell you. It is number 22 out of 28. It is the wolf token. And he is a 2-2 wolf. But I love how he is an armored wolf. Like This could be a great companion for a PC in a game. And then you put him in armor like this. So it's like, oh, how do you know he's your wolf? It's the armored wolf on the board. Like all my other wolves are unarmored and they're not really. Actually, he's really well painted. I like his paint job. His eyes could be a little better. But you know what? For a wolf, it'll work perfectly fine as a nice uh, companion wolf. Maybe a nice um, leader of wolves. Maybe he's like a special wolf. Okay. And I'm getting ahead of myself. Move on to the next one. So far, we haven't got the sliver of the dinosaur. Those are ones I'm hoping to get, and the angel. Okay, we got another duplicate, and this one's ironically kind of crushed. This might be like part of what happened when my notice my seal was undone when it got here. I had to pull these out and count my packages, to make sure I got all 24 of them. Uh, we got another treasure token. So a piece of terrain. Not bad. I mean, a duplicate that I can deal with as well. It's not as good as the goblin, but, I mean, better than the fairy. Getting duplicates of fairies, like I said, is not helpful to me. Okay, got another cool uh, animal. Another wildlife. And this is going to be useful because uh, it is medium class, since all these things are medium class. Uh, a nice bird with flying. It is, I think, a 1-1 one -one token. Yep, hard to get those white ones to show up the... Nice curved base, though. We got a nice white bird. I mean, if your companion needs, like, a, if you have a spectral companion or something like that, very nice creature there. Let's put the bird right around there. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so, so far we have not gotten the sliver, and I've not gotten the dinosaur. Those are what I'm really looking for. The angel would be nice, though. Okay, we got something different, though. Another difference. So far we're keeping that difference going. Since that uh, treasure. And we got us one that I was okay with getting to. It is the Beast. It is a 3-3. Honestly, it's a nice, quick, little medium creature to attack a group early on, probably. Or maybe a uh, pulling animal for someone's uh, sleds there. I mean, it is the same size as a Warthog or the um, Boars and Wolves and stuff. So maybe you find it being attacked by a group of Wolves and you decide to assist it. Or, or kill it. Are your choices. Um, so let's see what quickly. Oh, my apologies. I did forget to say the thing. 
Uh, it is a number 14 out of 28. I don't know if I've already said that once. Well, anyway. So right now we are down to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're up to 19. Means we're down to the last five. It's getting to the last to the final countdown here. And so far, I have not gotten the I'll draw the slivers or the dinosaur. And okay. Well, we got something different. But it's not one of those two. It's another one I know is in here. It is the plant, and it is number five out of twenty-eight. And it is a well nice little plant terrain piece here. Nice medium-sized plant with zero one. If you have a Nisa deck, a lot of those would be very useful for a Nisa deck. Because she summons plant tokens. Not much to say about it. I mean, it's a nice little plant. Okay, another beastie here. Thing is, though, I can't use it for what it looks like because um, for D&D &D sizing point, I mean, I can just say it anyway, but this is actually a medium class bear. And since this bear, I'll just be using it as a black bear since those are medium class in D&D. Or like a special type of bear, I don't know. But nice little tutu bear. Simple. I don't know what the yellow lining's for. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. But, you know, it's got a nice uh, bit of white in the mouth there. Could have been a little better. Could have obviously had a little better paint job, but, you know, good enough for what I need him for. Ah, come on. These things are kind of getting stuck in there. There we go. Okay. Well, so now we're down to the last four. And I'm really hoping. And this one has dashed my hope as it does not have the one of the two I really wanted. But it is not a bad one. It is the Rat with Death Touch. And it's a 1-1. One, one. And it's a nice giant rat since giant rats are medium. And it is a 6 out of 28. You know, this can also be, though, it could also be like a diseased rat, dire rat. If you need one of those for your group to face. That way they gain, gain um, maybe a necrotic damage or some good poisons or toxin. You can just call it toxin damage. Okay. We're still luckily keeping on with the no dupe so far. So far we're not getting any dupe bits, which is definitely the time not to get them. Here comes another one that I don't have. And it is number 7 out of 28. It is a sapperling. A 1-1 one, one sapperling. Not bad. Could be a fill-in for an Eldrazi if you need an Eldrazi. Like a forest Eldrazi, like one that lives in the forest. And I think we might be on to the last one. Yep, yeah, we're on the last mini. Oh, well. Sorry, I'm just moving the box out of there so we don't have to worry about that. Fingers crossed I get one of them. Unfortunately, the last one is a duplicate. But not a bad one. Like I said, not bad duplicate. This is a good one. This is a spider. Another spider. So sadly enough, we did not get the ones I was really hoping on, which was the uh, sliver and the dinosaur. But in the end, we got these nice little set of bad boys here. We got us a good sapperling, some goblins, a beast, a demon, a dragon, which is always good too. An ooze, which is always useful. Always need oozes. We got some a few good useful PCs and NPCs. So, that's all we got here for today, guys. Maybe I'll open another one of these in the future or something. I don't know. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for my other videos in the future. Do check us out on our podcast for the Dice and Dummies if you're still listening. Um, I play Bardis until our next campaign starts soon here, where I will be playing, probably being the DM. So, time to put all my crazy plans into action and make their lives a nightmare. Okay, guys, bye bye